Pastor Bia France, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are at this moment, both home and diaspora. I greet you good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it depends on your time zone. And at the same time, I welcome you to Biafra television channel. So, with a very important discussion, and I would like you to make your comment constructively on what is going on now. In my subsequent bulletin, I will be bringing you update today about the secrets of Nigerian President Bola Tinibu. So, this moment, I have decided to come into this matter as I have taken my time to study it objectively, Tinebu's movement to connect European Union to extradite Mazi Simon Eba. I have been watching him I have been hearing all what he has been saying. I want to tell you who is listening to me that is not only Tinibu plan alone. It's not only Tinibu that is planning to extradite Simon Eba back to Nigeria. Tinibu have gangs of people, especially Southeast politicians. I told you previously the meeting they had, and they are still going to have their subsequent meeting. But what a shame! What a shame! that somebody is carrying shit all over him and he cannot bath, he cannot wash his clothes. But he decided to be prognosing or poking fingers into another person's eyes or nose. May I ask a question this moment? What offense did Simon Eba committed in Finland or against Nigeria that warrants Tinibu's movement for Simon Eba's extradition? I want to say something this morning. Tinibu is not ashamed of himself. Tinibu is a laughing stock in the whole world. Tinibu don't deserve to rule anybody or any country because Tinibu cannot control himself. Let me tell you the reason why Tinibu cannot control himself. Tinibu doesn't have conscience. If Tinibu were to have conscience, the first thing he's supposed to do is to stop the cry of the masses by fighting terrorists which they are funding in Nigeria. Tinibu is a terrorist. So, Tinibu suppose if he doesn't have a hand in terrorism, killing people in Nigeria, Tinibu suppose 
to begin to fight a terrorist. So to allow Nigerian citizens to go about, about their lawful businesses, to go to their farms, plant crops, and harvest what they will eat because Tinubu does not feed anybody. And if Tinubu have been feeding anybody since he entered Asorok, the truth is that there will be no mass protest in Nigeria of hunger by Tinubu's hand. Tinubu orchestrated the hunger starvation, acute penury, and impoverishment. In fact, Tinibu and his government are an awkward predicament. What are people fearing? What are people looking at? That they cannot say the truth for once. Nigerians cannot say the truth and tell themselves the truth. Tinibu deserve to be impeached. Because why? His presence in Asorok attracted more terrorists in Nigeria and widened terrorism activities and terrorist industry. Recruitment of more terrorists were geometrically increased at the pronouncement of Tinibu's leadership in Nigeria. Quote me right. I will answer you any court you want us to go. Many people have died by the hands of terrorists in millions. The issue is that Nigeria newspaper does not report the truth. They don't say the truth. Nigeria Television Authority is lies. They broadcast. Tinibu should sit down and ask himself a question. Who is he? And what is his achievement in life? Tinibu have seven oil refineries. Why is it so? that Nigeria is suffering from acute fuel scarcity. Tinibu built his refineries outside Nigeria. Why is it so that he didn't build them inside Nigeria? I'm talking what I'm talking based on the people who are foolishly following Tinibu up and down. Yes. Tinibu is supposed to go and wash his face. He should, he should wash his clothes. He doesn't supposed to present himself in the public. So, if his arrangement with the Buhari was to come and Fulanize Biafra land, Islamize Biafra land, let somebody help me and tell him that he has failed. As he held Mazen Namdekano hostage in the DSS custody, that is how he wants to hold Mazen Samanepa hostage in the DSS custody. And that's what he's struggling to do. But let me inform him. Let this video go viral. Let him understand that Mazen Namdekano in the DSS custody does not stop the movement of Biafra actualization. And so also, if he tampers with Simon Eba, Biafra will come sooner than December 2nd.
This is my message this morning. If he dare move someone back to the wall, Biafra will come before December 2nd because another person is in a hurry to take over. And many things will go down in Nigeria. Tinubu will not stay in Nigeria. For his information, all what he has following him up and down with the machine gun and atalare and the bombs are terrorists. Nigeria doesn't have soldiers. They don't have police. We are aware of it. And the international community is aware of it. The whole world is aware of what I'm saying. Send this message to him. Let him know that we are well prepared to take what belongs to us home. Biafra land does not belong to Yorubas. And Biafra land does not belong to Hausas. Biafra land does not belong to Nigeria. There is a, a segregated gap that nobody can bring it close to each other. We are completely segregated. And Tinibu's actions and decisions have made the whole thing clear to the whole world that Nigeria is not one. Tinibu is a tribalistic man. Very selfish and very self-centered, suffering from the spirit of complacency, claiming that the whole Nigeria belongs to him. It's only his own family that belongs to him. If at all anybody likes him in his family, because even the state where he's coming from, he didn't win one election. This is a load that Northerners bundled and put on the head of Nigerian citizens, and everybody's dying. If terrorists didn't kill you, hungry will kill you, and Tinibu is busy laughing, going up and down. Nigeria has become no go area. Nigeria has become a terrorist country worldwide. Everybody knows it. So what I'm telling you now is that we know, let Tinibu understand, that we know his cohorts, those who are backing him up from Biafra land to, 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 to kidnap Simon Eba, because Nigeria government is a kidnapping government that are running. Nigeria government is a kidnapper. Late President Muhammad Buhari kidnapped Thomas Namdekano from Kenya and illegally rendentioned him to Nigeria. When you say the truth, they say assassinate him. I am telling you that I'm in Nigeria with you and I am in Biafra land with you. And I'm everywhere, even in Asorok. I am in Asorok with you. Every meeting you people had, I attended the meeting. I attended it. Every meeting, both military and police, I'm there. For your information, Biafra land belongs to me. So if you are trying to extradite Simon Eba, just know it that as you are extraditing him, you will be deported or exported out of Nigeria. On the other hand, you should understand that when you touch Simon Eba, you are touching billions of people in the world and millions of their friends. If you don't know, understand it at this moment, that you want to attract war Tinibu is trying to bring a fight that he cannot be able to finish before he will die. How many days remain for him? 
How many days did the Tinubu have on earth? And he is busy killing innocent people in Nigeria. If you say you are a man, challenge me. Tell me where you want us to meet. I will show you the stuff I'm made up of. You will know the kind of stuff that I am made up of. So, now, you are interest and the only thing that remain for you to achieve in Nigeria is to kidnap Simon Eba. Kidnap us. But you people don't have law. If you have law, you wouldn't have tried to kidnap Mazen and Amdekano because that is the jeopardy you people put yourselves into today. Because I'm telling you and I'm assuring you that European Union will not respond to your request. Because you don't know anything about law. And you don't know anything about leadership. Only what you know very well is how to embezzle. You borrow $60 billion dollars. And three of you share it in Azorok, believing that you will use crude oil from Biafra land to pay it. That is what brought you. Sixty billion dollars. Is it is it not reasonable enough to create jobs for the masses? You are busy looking for ready-made. That is how to run a country. Your plans have failed. So what I'm saying this moment, let them know those people who are supporting Tinibu to extradite Simon Eba, let them know that the journey is not possible. The journey he is making is not possible. The attempt and arrangement he is putting together will fail him. This is not 1967-1970 that the whole world joined hand with Nigeria to fight against Biafrans. It is not now, it is not this 21st century where we know everything and we are mixed with the whole world and we know what to do to end the saga. So, my listeners, I want to tell you people that Simon Epa is not going anywhere. Simon Epa cannot be repatriated. And nobody will help Tinibu. You know the reason? Tinibu refused to count one, and he wants to count 1,000. See how myopic he is. After United Nations, begged him and Buhari to release Mazen Amdekano and compensate him. Then he stepped on it. Tinibu have sons. He have made his sons ministers in Nigeria. Packing billions and millions of nairas and dollars. But he decided to make sure that Mazen Amdekano dies in the DSS custody. And you say, I shouldn't talk. For Tinibu and Buhari to have, to have violated the law of United Nations, you know what it means. 
You people wait. I'm coming.